Hello everyone. Today in this video, we're going to talk about communication breakdown and its barriers. But before that, let me introduce myself first. My name is Early Gionegabato. I am from Grade 11 Saturn. Now without further ado, let's get this video started. So what is this communication breakdown? Communication breakdown is the failure to deliver a message or information to the receiver, or as we call it, lack of communication. So when does this occur? Communication breakdown occurs when the receiver does not understand the message or information that was sent by the sender. Communication breakdown has four barriers. These barriers act as a distraction to hinder the communication between the sender and the receiver. These four types of barriers are physical barriers, psychological barriers, cultural barriers, and linguistic barriers. Now, let us talk about first the physical barriers. Physical barriers are the natural environmental condition that act as a barrier in sending the message from sender to receiver. Examples of physical barriers, people cheering, loud music, dog barking, and thunder. Now, let's talk about the psychological barriers. Psychological barriers are called mental barriers. These refers to social and personal issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. Examples of psychological barriers, shyness, lack of confidence, anxiety, depression, fear, stage fright. Now, let us go to cultural barriers. Cultural barriers pertain to communication problems encountered by people regarding to their intrinsic beliefs, values, and traditions in conflict with others. People's culture affect the way they communicate and relate to others. Examples of cultural barriers, different beliefs, traditions and customs, manners of dressing, and the way we speak. Finally, let's go to the final barrier which is the linguistic barriers. Linguistic barriers pertain conflicts with regard to language and word meanings. Because words carry the notative and connotative meanings, they can sometimes cause confusion and misunderstanding. Meaning of words and symbols also vary depending on culture. Examples of linguistic barriers, difference in language, accent and dialect, use of jargon and slang, and speech defects or language impairment. And those are the four communication barriers in communication breakdown. According to Berderber, he gives a similar barrier when he classifies his noise into three kinds. These noises are external noise, internal noise, and semantic noise. First, let us talk about external noise. External noises are the sight, sound, and other stimuli that draw people's attention away from intended meaning. Examples of external noises Noise from vehicles, singing in the neighborhood, the dog barking, and the sound of an airplane. Since external noise acts as a physical factor that hinders the communication between the sender and the receiver, so basically, it is a physical barrier. And now let's go to internal noise. Internal noises are thoughts and feelings that interfere with meaning. Examples of internal noise Confrontation with a friend Confessing your love And racial prejudice Since internal noise talks about our mental and thoughts and it also talks about how we act and how we look so we can say that this is a psychological and cultural barriers. Lastly, let's go to the final kind of noise, which is the semantic noise. Semantic noises are the alternate meanings aroused by a speaker's symbols. This idea means that a word may have another meaning in the minds of the students. This is affected by language in which they grew and culture in which they expose. Examples of semantic noise, incorrect grammar, using idioms, and using slang and jargon. It is very self-explanatory. Semantic noise is a linguistic barrier. That is all for my video today. I hope that you have learned something about communication breakdown, communication barriers, and the three noises. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you again. Bye!